My name is Ron Kiney. <clears throat> I was on death row in New Mexico. It was nine days from my execution date when a police officer confessed to the crime. I don't think I have to convince anybody here <clears throat> that death row is bad, that the death penalty is bad. We're all here to stop the most premeditated of all murders. And we're winning in this world. <clears throat> all over the place so using, well, juries aren't convicting on death penalties anymore, not like they used to. Prosecutors aren't charging death penalty anymore. People aren't getting executed like they used to. We got a lot of conservatives, over 40 senators I can think of right now, conservative senators have joined us in our battle and we are winning this everywhere. Even look, Governor Abbott sent these fine police officers here because they need to hear our message. You guys hear me? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but we're doing what we're doing to educate. When you educate, educate people, get more people involved, we win. A little story. A little while back at one of our other marches, this young lady, she came and she heard us speak. After she heard us speak, she decided she's gonna get involved in the death penalty. And through emails and helping with us this and that and everything like that, she finally now is ready to do this. And <clears throat> just to show how just one person like that, hearing this and getting involved in it, and I wanna introduce you to this lady. Her name is Kate and she's standing right here in the blue shirt. Stand up, Kate. Oh, you are, I see. <laughs> You're doing great, dear. And what it takes, we know what, what causes a death penalty, okay? It's, it's the fact that we give a loaded gun to prosecutors, we give the death penalty, and of course they're going to use it. They're gonna use it because they need that feather in their hat. <clears throat> it's a step to governor, attorney general, senator, then they have to have convictions. And they have to prove con have convictions to prove that they're worth their salt. <clears throat> the problem is, innocent people get sucked up in that too. Sometimes it's a mistake, a lot of times it is not. Majority of the time, Cases are sent back, death row cases, because of prosecutorial misconduct. These are people who we pay to protect us, and instead they victimize us. A lot of people come to these marches, they come to the speeches at the universities and stuff, and they're against the death penalty, but they don't know what to do. So they go home and sit on their hands, that doesn't work. You have to educate the people around you. In your schools, in your work, on the street, people you work with, anything, educate them on what the death penalty is. I've found that basically anybody, once they get to understand the death penalty, they won't stand for it. Thurgood Marshall said that, ex-Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. He says that the average citizen today had the information that was key, that is crucial to understanding the death penalty, they'd never go for it. They'd find it horrendous. And I find that true. It really is. Great philosopher Albert Camus says, let's take a look at the death penalty, examine it first, and then decide if it's necessary. So what we need is people like you guys who are interested and want to do something and got the right heart to do this, to get out and talk to people, get involved and do these things and educate the public and we can end this death penalty. Thank you. Thanks, Ron. Um